morning everybody today is Saturday and it is a Whistler weekend we're back in Whistler Ben is on the mountain right now with our friends Brandon and Bree and I thought I would give you guys a tour of our room okay so when you walk in this is the view you see and there's tons of space over on this right side we've just put a bunch of our ski gear and shoes there but yeah just like a big empty space then you keep walking in you've got your dishwasher fridge stove microwave sink it's the whole setup. Turn left and you're in the bathroom. This is what the shower looks like. You come around this way. Hello everybody. I unpacked as soon as we got in here and I just put all of my like skincare and makeup over on this side and toothbrushes on that side. I am wearing my okay to rest sweater. Let me just move my hair out of the way. It says slow down, no one else is on your journey. And that is exactly what I've been doing this morning. It's actually noon or around noon right now and I haven't done hardly anything except for relax and watch TV and watch YouTube videos. So kind of needed that, kind of needed that actually. So anyway, moving on. Ooh, hello. Uh. <laughs> so we come back out into the main area here and here's your little remote control. Let me go. I think I just turned it on. Yep, the fireplace is on now. So we've got our king size bed here. You can see where I've been posted up. And you've got your plugins on the side there and your night side tables. All of this is really similar to the other rooms we've stayed in, like the desk and the mirror, dresser, and the TV with the fireplace. You got a couple of nice chairs with some like cozy like faux fur backings there. And then what's different this time is we actually have like a little deck with chairs. It's blocked off right now. Not sure why, but anyway, if we wanted to, we could sit out there. It's not much of a view compared to the rooms we've stayed in before, but it is still nice. You can see the mountains and obviously the village. So really, really pretty. Oh, something else that's changed that I want to show you guys. You saw me eating breakfast this morning. I probably inserted that clip and they've changed their menu, which is so cool. Let me show you guys. So before they used to have a pretty small menu for if you wanted to order room service, but now they've got a bunch of stuff. There's like a whole smoothie list, which I'm a big smoothie drinker. So when I saw that, I was like, yes, I guess the smoothie thing is the Thing that's different and that I love so much and juices there's their in-room menu there's all of this I definitely I don't remember there being options for like caramel brownies last time I could have overlooked it but I don't remember that so yeah I'm pretty sure they've added like a ton of other things so you saw some clips from last night it was Bree's birthday and she turned 31 I believe so we had a little dinner for her and tonight we'll be kind of doing the same thing. We'll do like a hot tub when they get off the mountain and go for dinner at the Four Seasons. I believe it's called Side Cut. That's where I made a reservation for us. And I really like that spot. It's very cozy to me. I think what I'm gonna do now while I wait for them to get off the mountain is just go for a nice walk through the village and find a place to sit down with my journal and do some journaling. Okay, well, I guess it is time to get moving and I'll chat with you guys in a bit. Everybody. So I am back at the hotel room waiting for Benjamin to get back from the liquor store. As you saw, I did a bit of a shop around instead of just going straight to journaling. Of course I have to. If you've watched my other Whistler vlogs, you know that <laughs> 
I always do a bit of a shop when I go into town. Went into Lululemon, went into Aritzia, and then I met up with B and we went and saw the boys at Longhorns and it was so busy, so packed. So we sat inside and it was really, it was really nice to have a chat and sit down, have a drink and everything. So now we are going to get ready and then go down to the hot tub. I just wanted to say how funny I thought it was that like, even though we were at Longhorns, which is like kind of like the young, like have a drink, party, get a little rowdy spot. I still sat down and journaled. Like I was so determined to journal that I ended up journaling at Longhorns. That to me is just like so ridiculous. I'm still gonna do a little bit more, but I'll do it later. If you guys haven't watched my review video or unboxing video of my still planner, you guys should go check it out. Actually, I'll link it down below to make it even easier for you guys, but it's a big game changer for me and I love to write in it every single day. That's a must. Ooh. Did I get a text? What did I get a text from? Oh no, we need more slippers. B and Brandon are just in the room next to us and they don't have any slippers in their hotel room. What the heck? I'll tell Ben to get some. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Okay, so what I got is this white bralette. I got a white tank top and I got a green sort of like crop jacket. I know that they have those like full length ones that kind of go like mid calf, but I got a cropped one because I think it'll look better with my Molina pants. They're like the black leather ones. You guys have seen them on me before. And then I also got that black jacket that I tried on at Lululemon. That'll just be so good for running. So I got that and I got a bra that is like a brown sparkly thing. It was like on sale for like 40 bucks. But that's what I got while I was in town. And then we had our drinks and yeah, now I'm gonna get ready and we're gonna go to the hot tub. Good morning, everybody. Today is Sunday, and as you saw, last night's dinner was absolutely incredible. We went to side cut at the Four Seasons, and it was so good. Now, I've just gotten ready. I've got a little outfit on, kind of mixing patterns today. I don't know if it works or not, but I'm giving it a go. We requested a late checkout, so it's 11.30, and we're gonna check out in half an hour, and then go have some like lunch, breakfast sort of thing. I have to show you outside. It is so amazing right now. So much snow came overnight and is still dumping. So I'm very excited to see that. Like this is what I love about Whistler. I love it. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. But yeah, this has been an incredible trip. I've loved so many of the things that we've done, the restaurants that we've gone to. So I'm just gonna do a bit of a journal and then we'll be checking out and getting some food, right Benjamin? Yes ma'am. Benjamin stayed out late last night. <laughs> got home at like 1 a.m. I'm the grandma that went to bed at 11.30. Still late, but not quite as late as everybody else. <laughs> Where did you guys even go? The well Bills. Oh, Buffalo Bills, I think. Oh, Stinky Bills? <laughs> okay, we are all checked out pretty much. Well, we've got all of our stuff out of the room. We had somebody come and pick it up. And now we're gonna go get breakfast. Yeah. So I got, got some days to use. I am so sad right now that we have to leave Whistler and it is snowing as much as it is. Like this is my favorite when it just like dumps snow like this. You could have had some serious skiing in. Yeah, I know. It would have been a nice day, but that's okay. We can go watch football on the couch. <laughs> Watching football on the couch would be really good right now. Well, it has been a lovely Whistler weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a like or comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you guys join me back for another video. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.
ไป